Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. So, this is a small video which talks about how you could download a CSV file in Pega. We will be building a small functionality where we'll be using out of the box function which helps us downloading a CSV file in Pega. Let us jump down into the designer studio and understand how exactly we can do it. To understand the CSV download functionality, we will need a data type. I have created a data type called vehicle where I am capturing brand, make, year, model and few other attributes. And I will need a page which will refer to this particular data class and I will be pointing it and creating a section where I will be mapping these properties. Let's try to see how exactly we will be doing that. Under my work class, I am creating a page to point to this data class, which is a vehicle page. In this vehicle page, I will be pointing to that particular class. First, I will change this to page or yeah, I can create a page list also. Uh, let me create a page list and then let me point to that class for which this particular this thing belongs so I'm pointing to the data class where I have all my properties and let me save this once I'm done with the page list I'll be creating one section in my work class where I have included a inline double grid layout inside which I have a table layout on which I have configured the page list vehicle page list and then I'm using three of the properties which are present there the brand the model and the make here I have also added a button in the bottom here on click of which I want to download the CSV. Pega provides PX convert results to CSV a activity which is a out of the box activity which we will be utilizing to download the results in CSV format of whatever records are present as part of this extraction. Let us see in action how exactly we can do it. Now let's configure our button to be able to download the CSV file. Let us open the configuration by clicking on the gear icon. Let me call it download CSV. Go to the actions tab. Click on create an action set. Click on adding an event. For example, on click of this particular button, what do you want to do? I want to be able to download a CSV. Click on all actions. And then you should be able to find something called as open URL by window. Once you are here, you will be using a page to perform this operation. So do check this option. Remember to check this option. Pick the activity which you are going to use here, which should be PX convert results to CSV. Once you click outside after you have chosen that activity, you will see that the parameters will pop up. Here you will have to specify the properties which you are trying to have in the csv file i want my brand these are comma separated make sure they are comma separated model and make here perfect so once you have specified your csv properties you should also make sure you give your page list under which you have these properties present my properties are present in vehicle page list let me give that and you have to submit this that's it save once you have saved this section the next piece is adding this to a flow action i have created a csv flow action where I have added that vehicle section and then I have also created a sample flow called CSV flow which just has one assignment where I will be referring my flow action. Now as the next part let's try to run this and see how the CSV download works. Let me run this. This should give me a work object because I ran the flow and if you see there is a table which gets popped up which has no records. Let's add few records. Let us say add item. Let me say the brand is Tesla and the model is Y and 
2022 in the same way i do have a mercedes uh, which is s class and then the year is that is a 2023 this has to be 2020 yeah you can double click and we'll be able to modify it because it's an inline grid 2022 like this you can add n number of items maruti and then let's say swift and say 2021 this way we can add as many records as we want once we are done with this just save this here so you see these three records got saved now when i click download i should be able to download the csv of this particular records let me click on download csv see now i got a file which got downloaded which is records to csv if i click on this i should be able to see all those details which were there as part of my ui these were the details which i gave in this way you will be able to download as many number of records as you want this was a quick demo to help you understand how you can utilize this out of the box activity just by passing few parameters and you will be able to download all the results in a csv format Hope that this helped you understand how exactly you can utilize this out of the box activity to generate a CSV file. There are other parameters also where you can modify the file name and append a timestamp to a file name and stuff like that. You can try this out. Very simple and easy way to download a CSV file which you will be needing in your day to day projects. Hope this helps. If you have liked this video, please share, like, and also leave a comment if you have tried if you tried this out and if you went you had any issues. And if you want more such videos, leave your thoughts in the comment section so that I can make more such videos which helps you understand. Till then, have fun and keep developing stuff on Pega. Thank you. Bye.